Welcome back to the Craig Arndt channel. Alright, so we're going to get this oil changed. I usually leave this nut on. Kind of loose. It's a, it's a locker with a little nylon thread there. So I don't need any tools to get this off. But I'll show you the air filter. This is a new air filter from last fall. I think last fall. You can see we're in really good shape. I mean, that's white. Still looks good. A little dust here in the pre filter. Knock the dust out of this. So we'll do that. We look good in here. No uh, chipmunks or mice living in there, so we're good. We're not using any. So we'll. Drop it in, give it a turn. Show you where it is. Oop, oh, where are you? There you are. Are you focusing in on that? It's a little dark. Um, I I do run. We're about halfway. No, we're we're full. I think we're full. I do run um, a little motor coat in this as well. I think about an ounce or two. Our drain plug is right down here, so we'll get ourselves a bucket, and uh, I'll get you down to that level, and we'll get the uh, oil drained. One more turn. There we go. It's looking dark. So I'm going to get this all drained clean up my mess and then I'll come back all right just for reference I'm looking at the oil filter I changed this last May of 22 so it's been a year almost a year uh, 1232 hours so we're at uh, 1303 okay pop that loose little wrench I'll spin this off. I'll give you the number here. Alright. Yeah, I got a engine ground here that always gives me a little trouble. So I use Pure Later because they're pretty good and inexpensive. It's L10241. That's a filter that I like to use. All right, I don't know. I think it's the 29th. I'm really not sure, but I'm close. 1303 is the hours. I'm going to spin this on. Thin coat of oil on that. Spun on. Wind's picking up. I wanted to get this done because we're expecting some heavy rain. Just gotta make sure I thread this right. There she goes. I just tighten this hand tight. Once that O ring makes contact, then I give it a good half to three quarter turn. But you don't really need to put, you don't need to go crazy with it. Oil we're using is Shell Rotella. 1540. Stop right there. This Rotella is really a great oil for this tractor. It's full synthetic. Something about diesel oil. It's got all the vitamins and minerals. So there's that. We'll put in another 12. Hopefully, we'll take a reading. Let's see if we need to add. Shouldn't need to take any out. And I'll post it in the description the filter that I use. 
the number and then how many ounces. I have to take into account that I'm not on level ground as well. So this is probably going to read low because the front end of the tractor is pointing up. But based on my yeah, let's start her up. Let her run a little bit and then we'll take another reading. There we go. filter. We're going to let this drain down a little bit, come back, we'll take a reading. Alright, so it's been sitting for a little while. Let the oil do its thing. Oh, and we're good. Just a hair, just a little bit underneath full. And that'll get a level out once we put it on level ground. So we're all good here. Oil is done. Quick, simple, not hard to do, unless you spill it all over the floor, like me. So that's it. Wheel horse, uh, 520H, oil change. Pretty, pretty simple, not hard. Again, unless you put half a uh, quart all over the floor. I'll put a link below or a list below in the description of the Pure Later filter. 10241, I think it was, L1 10241, I'll put that down there. And then um, let me confirm how much oil I put in, which I um, escapes me. But I'll put that in the description below so that you have it. And actually what I'll do, when I edit the video, I'll put it right uh, on the screen so you see it. Uh, but that's it. Next uh, is the deck. So we're going to work on putting the deck on, which is over there. Gonna take the front blade off. You can hear the rain just started, so we got this done just in time. Got to get the snow blower back out in the shed, so there's some room in here, and we'll catch everybody in the next video. Thanks a lot for coming along. Please hit that subscribe button, like it, and uh, hey, put down in the uh, comments what you're working on. Let's hear it. So uh, have a good week, everybody. We'll see you.